I think the comment is very short, and very clear. Our second quarter decided the game. Uh, we lost the rhythm and the flow for two, three minutes. We received a break that after that, in the moment that we are, without so many players, without so many players that can score points uh, for us, like Nedovic, also like De La Valle, but also the shape of everybody, because we are going like this from many weeks. And so play style was difficult to recover. Anyway, we play a good second half, solid. We never give up. We arrive at the end with details to, to miss two layups, to miss two open shots, to miss some free throws. And uh, this detail don't give us the chance to win, uh, to win here. But to win today, we need we needed to stay solid for 40 minutes and don't score these eight points in the second quarter when we accept to shoot some balls after one pass instead of moving more and attack the rim like like we did in the third quarter to recover and in the fourth quarter also but missing two three key possessions. Šiandien rungtynės nulėmė antrasis kelinys, kada praradome ritmą, kelioms minutėms, negalėjome užpulti. Suprantama, kad esame be kelių žaidėjų, be Nedovičius, be Delavalės, kurie gerai rungtyniauja polime, to pačiu ir kitiems žaidėjams sunku atsigauti, kai jį rotacija tokia maža. Taip pat nepasidavėme, grįžome į rungtynės, ketvirtame kelinė buvo kelios atakos, kur parametėm iš pakrepščio, parametėm baudas, šios detalės ir neleido laimėti. Jeigu būtume rungtyniavę pilnų tempų 40 minučių, rezultatas galėjo būti kitoks, bet aštuoni taškai antrajame kelinė, to ir pritruko galutinime rezultate. Questions? So, coach, what influenced the second quarter and what was so special about Zagreb's defense that they kept you under 10 points? No, it's not. Zagreb's play aggressive all the time, like every time. But it was, it was for us that uh, after the first trap, we overcome the pressure. We accept to shoot the ball by three points. Uh, with them, we need to move the ball more with passes, pass and attack the close out like we did in the third quarter. We arrive with Mitsov, with everybody three, four times to the rim, and then we kick off the ball again for two, three open shots like uh, Bertens or like this. But if we take the first ball, we shoot like we did. Uh, this is uh, give them also the chance to, to go because we control, you know, against their pressure, we have only nine turnovers. Uh, we lost two balls in offense to touch the line, the baseline at the end like this. So really, we don't suffer about pressure, but we need to be smart when there's still seconds to attack in the right way. If you accept to make this shot, oh, we score. But hey, we, we, we shoot with not with high percentage. We know that because uh, we are so tired. The same players that are leading our league without loss, we are make great effort to start this EuroLeague in the right way. And now I don't have rest, you know, also I don't have players to make practice five on five. These two days we stay only to recover in practice, so we come here. We are nine players effective in the bench because De La Valle was not ready to, to play with his finger. So we need to be smart and not to make this kind of uh, uh, hurry shots that we use. This is simple. Then I know that maybe we have the chance again because, you know, it's the first time that also good players, we miss eight free throws. I repeat, two layups. Uh, two times we were very close to make basket and fouls. Two open shot. Also, the last was good shot to, to tie the game. And sometimes, but when you are like this, you can win, you can lose. Zalgir is no. They, you lost some games for this one open shot. You miss to win the game or not? But to win before to maintain the the advantage that we build when we start in the right way, uh, we need a better uh, second quarter for sure. Coach, in a 40 seconds left, Zalgir is up by five, and you decided not to call him out after this. Uh, Carter Gerald missed the three-point shooter. Why decided not to call him out? Because they were ready to run. They many times they play, but I don't give this. This is a shit to talk the game because my players like to go when it's like this. Don't let them to organize because they want to go. This is the game to 
to to win before, to tie before, when uh, Kerzi shoot the ball, it was just extra shot to try to stay and press. But this is what they like. This was is good shot for him because he scored all the life. But like my James, this is what they like. Uh, we are a team like this. This is the the way how he likes to play. Don't let the other organize and and have, at the end we try to use to have two good execution to have to reduce the gap and this is was uh, why I call regarding to rotation uh, you let two players to join the national team but what do you think about the situation that uh, an Italian national team coach as such didn't uh, named uh, Fontecchio in the 12th man roster for tonight's game and you're kind of short of rotation and uh, it impacted your practices uh, I don't talk about national team. I don't want to talk. This is, uh, you know, a situation, strange situation for everybody, I think. And uh, nothing to say, of course, Fontecchio didn't play so many minutes until now. Uh, he's young, he's like to go, but he, I see that he was not in the roster in the 12 tonight. But uh, this is not my job to practice with the player that I have. And, uh, and nothing, and nothing. So. It's, it's this moment, I think, for everybody. It's it's like this. In the same time, there is this big game for your country, and then people that come here, they don't see your national team playing. Nothing. And talking about our Lithuanian guys, guys, Gudaitis and Kuzminskas, what are your expectations uh, for this season uh, for them and uh, what they are already providing to the team? No, oh, no, we know that they were with us from the last season and uh, of course we are happy because you know them, they are two good guys, first of all, they work ethic every day, they are so important to stay in the team like, you know, at that level that they know basketball, they want to practice, they want to win, so they are good, sometimes someone play better, sometimes not is the moment or one period that one can be more in confidence or not, but we are we are happy about because, uh, you know, first of all is how we stay, we try to build it. last season, we restart from zero with a lot of rookies, with a lot of uh, completely new roster, new team, and then we, we tried, but we tried to, to fix some procedure, how we want to practice, how we want to stay. And uh, and to have a good person that they can practice. And this season, if you look until now, because injuries of uh, of Nedovic or something, we play with Mike James and Jeff Brooks more minutes that are the newcomer this season. But all the other Udaitis, Kuzmiskas, Jared, Sincerini, Bertans, Tarceski, Mitsov are from the last season. So last season. We were not good in Euroleague, but at the end we played good basketball. We won the title in Italy. We start in the right way this season because when you can work and you can work and work, this is what we want to do and to be better and better. Tuk tuk. Katsam. Sibetalte.